This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals expert. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 13th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, JPL has just released today information on a newly spotted near-Earth object, an NEO, a space rock. This one has been named 2024 JN16. And again, they just spotted this thing. I'm going to bring this back. We're supposed to have an extremely close approach tomorrow, May 14th. And I do mean extremely close, as you will see. It's going to shave Earth if it does not impact Earth. Again, 2024, JN16 inbound. Let's take a look at some of the details. All right, starting off with our solution date, that would be today, May 13th. Only 27 observations made. Data arc span five days. They picked this up on the 8th and could only see the rock 27 times. That is strange. We have a condition code that's very high, being they're highly uncertain to the size of the rock and where it's headed. This rock is under 20 feet in diameter, they think. It's moving about 10 kilometers per second, they think. It was spotted by Automatic, our AI software, but of course. Now, I've never seen them only observe a rock 27 times over a five-day data arc span. This rock was not inbound from the sun and should have been easily seen. All right, taking a look at the close approach data here, we're looking at... A close approach of Earth, May 14th at 9.50 UTC time. So around 2.50 tonight, or tomorrow if you will, proper, central time here in the U.S. And that's plus or minus 4 seconds, so they think they have it down. Although the condition code is 7, they extrapolated pages and pages of data from 27 observations, which I've never seen occur. Very strange. The actual nominal and minimal distance here is point zero 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 one seven. If we take into account the radius of Earth, this rock's going to pass just over 10,000 miles away from the surface of our planet. Now that's with a little luck as the condition code is 7. Now, for all you non-believers, on the 9th of May, I had several subscribers and or viewers write in or comment in that they saw what looked like an asteroid or comet come through the atmosphere and hit the ground in Arkansas. Now, I sure can't determine or guarantee you that's the rock that we were talking about making an extremely close shave. But it just as well could have been a partner or a space rock moving with the one that JPL spotted. Again, 2024 JN16 inbound for May 14th. Although that really equates to be 2.50 Central Time here in the U.S. Tonight, well really tomorrow morning technically. Uh, the good things again, the rock is supposed to be 20 feet in diameter or smaller. Uh, the very close shave is the bad news. The condition code is the bad news. And the speed is, well, not as fast as it could be. Now, there is an inclination, as you can see, to this rock. It's not on a flat plane, but it's not an incredible inclination. And I see it burning up in the atmosphere. Well, that would be probably worst case scenario. God bless you and yours. I want to keep you alert 
of all the space rocks headed inbound. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible. Bizarro world.